This is the Advanced Messenger Camera Bag M3 by Manfrotto. From the outside, this camera bag looks like nothing special, but it cleverly hides the fact that it is a TARDIS of a camera bag, perfect for mirrorless or DSLR photographers and creatives who want to carry multiple cameras, multiple lenses, and a laptop or tablet. This bag promises convenience, comfort, and ample space to accommodate all of your photography essentials, but how good actually is it, and is it worth the £80 price tag? Now the weird thing about this camera bag is Manfrotto retail it for £79, but you'll find various different prices all over the internet. Make sure you have a good look around because you will get this cheaper from various other stores. The capacity of this messenger bag is pretty impressive and it allows me to carry essential and non-essential gear. As you can see, I can fit quite a lot in here and there's more than enough space for my camera, multiple lenses, a laptop and more. Like with most Manfrotto bags, the internal compartment is fully customizable so you can remove the padded dividers if you find yourself needing more space. This bag also features Manfrotto's M-Guard protection system. Now these are made from high density EVA foam. This aims to provide exceptional shock absorption, which should hopefully protect your gear from accidental bumps and jolts but how good actually is it compared to normal foam dividers? I guess you'll only know once you actually drop your gear, which hopefully will never happen to any of us. But you can definitely tell just from comparing these side by side that the M guards are more rigid and sturdy. And when it comes to build quality, this bag does feel well made. The zips all feel sturdy and reliable. The material feels good. The inside all feels well stitched. I haven't really noticed any problems with this bag at all. What I really like about this camera bag is that it's got quick access for your gear. So at the very top, there's a zip that you simply just unzip and then you can access all of your gear inside. This makes it a lot easier to grab your camera if you need it, say you're on a photography trip or you're just out and about in the city and you need to get something from your bag without having to unbuckle and remove the main flap, which is secured down with Velcro. And I would have liked this top access to be a little bit more flexible. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to get your camera out, especially if you've got a big lens on it. But for most situations, I found I could get my camera in and out without many issues. There's also a ton of different compartments in this bag, considering the size. On the lid or flap or whatever you want to call this, there is a zip compartment so you can store snacks or camera batteries or whatever it is you want to store in here for quick access. And once we lift this off, there's another large zip compartment with pen holder pockets and larger pockets where you can store USB cables or even your phone. Inside the main compartment, there's also two sort of hidden main pockets. These are great as well. Again, I use these for USB cables or batteries. Turning the bag around, not only do you have a luggage strap so you could attach this to a suitcase, and there's yet another zipped compartment for documents or whatever it is you want to put in here. This is quite a thin compartment, so you're not gonna be able to get big bulky items in here, but it might be great for documents or your passport, for example. This bag certainly has enough storage space, and what really surprised me is you also get two side compartments for water bottles or whatever it is you might want to carry inside. You could even put a lens in there for quick access. Although if you have quite a large water bottle, for example, this can eat into the bag space inside. And the functionality of this bag extends past camera gear. There's also a laptop compartment that supports laptops up to 14 inches, which is great for me. I have the 13 inch MacBook Air, but if you're someone that has the 15 or 16 inch MacBook Pro, then you might struggle to actually get this in the bag. But for those of us with smaller laptops, this isn't a problem. So how do I use this bag? Well, this is my typical sort of coffee shop and video sort of camera bag that I will take out if I know I'm going to be making some videos, for example. I may go write a script inside the coffee shop, then go out and film some footage. And this is a great bag for that kind of use. If you're like me and you live in a particularly rainy country, you may be wondering how protected your gear is against rain. Well, the material itself does have a sort of rain proof texture to it, so it will repel water, but you also get a rain cover supplied for those extra rainy days. Now this is great for peace of mind, the last thing you want is expensive gear absolutely soaked. One feature I absolutely love about this bag, and I hope every bag I have in the future has this, is the buckle to adjust the strap length. This is such an intuitive design, it's so easy now to just adjust the strap length with this buckle, no more messing around with awkward strap adjusters just loosen the buckle and you're good to go. What if you're out and about and you need a large tripod? 
Unfortunately, this bag doesn't support larger tripods, but it does have these little straps inside, but this honestly does work best with smaller tripods like the Gorilla Pod, for example. And if you're lucky and you have the right kind of size tripod, you might get a small compact travel tripod in here. In a way, it's probably a good thing that you can't add a big tripod to this, because I will admit, once you start loading this bag full of gear, it does start to get heavy, especially as it rests on one side of your body. It's not necessarily an issue with the bag because I did walk 12 miles, which is around, I don't know, 27,000 steps or something. So, I mean, that's a lot. Not everybody is gonna be walking 12 miles a day with this bag. For the average photographer who wants to take this to a city for a couple of hours, or maybe even just a full day, but not walk as far, this bag should be fine. I also completely forgot that this bag does come with a strap so that you can wear it on your back rather than your side. This will help a lot to prevent one side of your back from hurting due to the weight of the camera bag. So if you are planning to carry more stuff in this bag, definitely make sure you've got this strap attached. Overall, I think this Manfrotto camera bag offers a great combination of functionality, durability and versatility, making it a pretty worthy investment for photographers like me who need a more relaxed city style camera bag with easy access to their gear. And considering the £80 price point, I do think this is actually pretty well priced considering what kind of bag we get here. Like I said earlier, for me, this is my main sort of go out with the camera, laptop, camera bag. It's what I'm gonna use most. I really like the design. I love the fact that I can get quite a lot in here and it's just a good bag. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more from me, subscribe and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload another video. If you have any comments or questions about the product, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.